to welcome the lost and lonely to share the cup of my love. Come to the feast of heaven and earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Today we celebrate the Feast of St. Blaise, and we'll have the uh, blessing of throat. So we remind you he was a martyr and, and a bishop, and uh, a gift of healing. In order to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we first call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, I have greatly sinned my thoughts, and my words, what I've done, what I've failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, the most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, of the angels, of the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May mighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins, for it's all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, the supplications your people make under the patronage of the martyr, St. Blaise. Grant that they may rejoice in peace in this present life, find help for life eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. When the time of David's death drew near, he gave these instructions to his son Solomon. I am going the way of all flesh. Take courage and be a man. Keep the mandate of the Lord your God, following his ways and observing his statutes, commands, ordinances, and decrees, as they are written in the law of Moses, that you may succeed in whatever you do wherever you turn, and the Lord may fulfill the promise he made on my behalf when he said, If your sons so conduct themselves that they remain faithful to me with their whole heart and with their whole soul, you shall always have someone of your mind on the throne of Israel. David rested with his ancestors and was buried in the city of David. The length of David's reign over Israel was forty years. He reigned seven years in Hebron and 33 years in Jerusalem. Solomon was seated on the throne of his father David with his sovereignty firmly established. The word of the Lord. Lord, you are exalted, exalted over all. Lord, you are exalted over all. Blessed may you be, O Lord, God of Israel, our Father, from eternity to eternity. Lord, you are exalted over all. Yours, O Lord, are grandeur and power, majesty, splendor, and glory. Lord, you are exalted over all. Lord, you are exalted over all. Yours, O Lord, is the sovereignty. You are exalted as head over all. Riches and honor are from you. Lord, you are exalted over all. In your hands are power and might. It is yours to give grandeur and strength to all. Lord, you are exalted over all. Oh, my God. 
gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus gave the twelve and began to send them out two by two. He gave them authority over unclean spirits. He instructed them to take nothing for the journey but a walking stick, no food, no sack, no money in their belts. They were, however, wear a set of sandals, but not a second tunic. He said to them, Wherever you enter a house, stay there until you leave from there. Whenever the place does not welcome you or listen to you, leave there and shake the dust off your feet in testimony against them. They went up and preached repentance. The twelve drove out many demons. They anointed with oil many who were sick and cured them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise Lord. Lord. Very appropriate for our readings today, especially the end, they anointed men with oil and cured who were sick. And the same place we attribute to his healing gifts. Uh, looking and seeing things about the same place, uh, including one in the diocese and by one senior Losi about should it be B L A I S E or B L A S E. Anyways, both are correct. <laughs> but uh, the, the, the calendar, if you haven't read that, it's uh, interesting, and, and the bulletin both talk about uh, something I never heard before. We know the story about a, a young boy that was choking on his fish bone and um, you know it's a blaze right over him and then you know the fish bone came out of his neck uh, out of him. but um, the, the another story that is in both of these that he was in prison you know before he was to be martyred and since it's so dark in the, in the prison a woman brought him two candles and a woman brought him two candles and um, then you know to, so he could have some light to see and while he was there in prison and because of the kindness, you know, there was a healing gesture presented, and the, thus the two candles. I was wondering why. Are I know it's after the feast of the presentation, but I can never figure out why the two. What is this thing? The candles and the neck? You know, it just seems unusual. But it helps explain that. It helps explain uh, where the candles came from, from the healing of St. Blaise. And so we have faith in God, we have the life and the power of deliverance, the intercession of the saints, and today we're going to pray for. That's one of the intercessory prayers, and then we'll have a blessing of focus. We now pray for those who are sick and suffering. For those who care for the sick, for all who seek the blessings and good health. For those who suffer from sickness and disease, that they may receive healing, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the mentally ill and for their families, that they may receive comfort, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those with physical disabilities, that the strength of Christ may invigorate them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For doctors and nurses, and for all who care for the sick, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who seek the prayers of St. Blaise today, that they may be protected from afflictions of the throat and other forms of illness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially David Coleman, who we remember in a special way in this liturgy, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For any other attentions you wish to offer, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Amen. 
Even the section contains a Christian motto, may God protect you from all the people of this earth and from every other enemies. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we now receive this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine. The work of human hands and come our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Blessed be God forever. May my sacrifice yours be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the We bring in commemory of commemoration of Saint Blaise. Be acceptable to you, we pray, O Lord, so that we may be pleasing to you and your majesty, just as the shedding of his blood was precious in your sight. Through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. It is truly right and just duty, our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised in their very sufferings, but by the wonders of your might, in your mercy, we give ardor to their faith, to their endurance, you grant them firm resolve, and in their struggle, the victory is yours, through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song of adoration. With one voice, with a host of angels, we cry out, 
and we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood. The blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. Until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, this bread of life, this chalice of salvation, giving thanks you, made us worthy to stand in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together, Francis, our Pope, Lawrence, our Bishop, Bishop Donald, all the clergy. Remember all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. With the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with all the blessed apostles, all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ, the, the kingdom of power, power and glory, glory is now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord Jesus be with all of you. Share a sign of peace. Peace. Yeah. 
Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Blessed are the Lord, and my soul shall be healed.
us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us that determination which made your saint martyr, Saint Blaise, faithful in your service and victorious in his suffering. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Okay, so we have a blessing of throats at 5.15 tonight as well. Um, we need to sanitize the cubes for that purpose. And if you're out there, you can get your throat blessed. Come tonight if you're able. The Lord be with you. Amen. God's blessings upon you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks. Thanks. Have a good day. Thanks.